Bulbasaur is a grass and poison type Pokemon introduced in Generation One. Bulbasaur is a small, mainly turquoise amphibian Pokemon with red eyes and a green bulb on its back. It is based on a frog or a toad, with the bulb resembling a plant bulb that grows into a flower as it evolves. Bulbasaur is notable for being the very first Pokemon in the National Pokedex. It is one of the three choices for star Pokemon in the original Game Boy games. Pokemon Red and Blue, Red and Green in Japan, along with Charmander and Squirtle, Pokedex entries. A strange seed was planted on its back at birth. The plant sprouts and grows with this Pokemon. It can go for days without eating a single morsel. In the bulb on its back, it stores energy. The seed on its back is filled with nutrients. The seed grows steadily larger as its body grows. It carries a seed on its back right from birth. As it grows older, the seed also grows larger. While it is young, it uses the nutrients that are stored in the seed on its back in order to grow. Bulbasaur can be seen napping in bright sunlight. There's a seed on its back. By soaking up the sun's rays, the seed grows progressively larger. There's a plant seed on its back right from the day this Pokemon is born. The seed slowly grows larger. A strange seed was planted on its back at birth. The plant sprouts and grows with this Pokemon. For some time after birth, it grows by gaining nourishment from the seed on its back. The seed on its back is filled with nutrients. The seed grows steadily larger as its body grows. It carries a seed on its back right from birth. As it grows older, the seed also grows larger. For some time after its birth, it grows by gaining nourishment from the seed on its back. A strange seed was planted on its back at birth. The plant sprouts and grows with its Pokemon. For some time after its birth, it grows by gaining nourishment from the seed on its back. Bulbasaur can be seen napping in bright sunlight. There's a seed on its back. By soaking up the sun's rays, the seed grows progressively larger. It can go for days without eating a single morsel. In the bulb on its back, it stores energy. There's a plant seed on its back. Right from the day this Pokemon is born, the seed slowly grows larger. While it is young, it uses the nutrients that are stored in the seed on its back in order to grow. For some time after its birth, it grows by taking nourishment from the seed on its back. What is Bulbasaur's design based upon? Bulbasaur is based on a frog. According to Ken Sujimori and Atsuko Nishida, the latter designed Bulbasaur working backward from Venusaur, meaning Bulbasaur was the last of its evolutionary family have been designed and was also directly based on Venusaur. In particular, its build and ears resembled the Beezubuffo, a large prehistoric frog. So it is based on the frog created after Venusaur. Ivysaur is a grass and poison type Pokemon introduced in Generation 1. Pokedex entries. When the bulb on its back grows large, it appears to lose the ability to stand on its hind legs. The bulb on its back grows by drawing energy. It gives off an aroma when it is ready to bloom. Exposure to sunlight adds to strength. Sunlight also makes the bud grow on its back larger. If the bud on its back starts to smell sweet, it is evidence that the large flower will soon bloom. The bulb on its back grows as it absorbs nutrients. The bulb gives off a pleasant aroma when it moves. There's a bulb on this Pokemon's back. To support its weight, Ivysaur's legs and trunk grow thick and strong. If it starts spending more time flying the sunlight,
exposure to sunlight adds to strength. Sunlight also makes the bud on its back grow larger. When the blood on the, when the bud on its back starts swelling, a sweet aroma wafts to indicate the flowers coming blue. There's a plant bulb on its back. When it absorbs nutrients, the bulb is said to blossom into a large flower. When the bud on its back starts swelling, a sweet aroma wafts to indicate the flowers coming blue. There's a bud on this Pokemon's back. To support its weight, Ivysaur's legs and trunk grow quick and strong. If it starts spending more time lying in the sunlight, it's a sign that the bud will bloom into a large flower too. The bud on its back grows by drawing energy. It gives out an aroma that is ready to bloom. When the bulb on its back grows large, it appears to lose the ability to stand on its own legs. Exposure to sunlight adds to strength. Sunlight also makes the bud grow on its back grow larger. When the bud Venusaur is a grass and poison type Pokemon introduced in Generation 1. Venusaur is a large quadruple Pokemon with a turquoise body. It has small red eyes and several large ferns on its back and head. The plant bulb was on the back of its previous evolutions. Bulbasaur and Ivysaur has now bloomed to a large flower with large pink petals and a yellow center. The female has a seed in the center. Venusaur is inspired by toads and the horned frog. The large flower is similar to Rafflesia arnoldi, a parasitic plant with an unpleasant odor, referencing the Pokemon's poison type. Venusaur is notable for being the final evolution stage of one of the original star Pokemon. Along with Charizard and Blastoise, it is a mega evolution available in Generation 6 games and Pokemon Go. It also has a Gigantamax form available in Pokemon Sword and Shield with an exclusive G-Max move. G-Max Vine Lash. Pokedex Entries. The plant blooms when absorbing solar energy. It stays on the move to seek sunlight. The flower on its back catches the sun's rays. The sunlight is then absorbed and used for energy. By spreading the broad petals of its flower and catching the sun's rays, it fills its body with power. It is able to convert sunlight into energy. As a result, it is more powerful in the summertime. As it warms itself and absorbs the sunlight, its flower petals release a pleasant fragrance. There is a large flower on Venusaur's back. The flower is said to take on vivid colors if it gets plenty of nutrition and sunlight. The flower's aroma soothes the emotions of people. A bewitching aroma was from its flower. The fragrance becomes those engaged in the battle. Its plant blooms with solar energy. It stays on the move to seek sunlight. Venusaur's flower is said to take on vivid colors if it gets plenty of nutrition and sunlight. The flower's aroma soothes the emotions of people. After a rainy day, the flower's back smells stronger. The scent attracts other Pokemon by spreading the broad petals of its flower and catching the sun's rays. It fills its body with power. It is able to convert sunlight into energy. As a result, it is more powerful in the summertime. By spreading the broad petals of its flower and the catching of sun's rays, it fills its body with power. After a rainy day, the flower's back smells stronger. The scent attracts the other Pokemon. There's a large flower on Venusaur's back. The flower is said to take on vivid colors if it gets plenty of nutrition and sunlight. The flower's aroma soothes the emotions of people. The flower on its back catches the sun's rays. The sunlight is then absorbed and used for energy. Its plant blooms and absorbs solar energy. It stays on the move to seek on sunlight. A bewitching aroma wafts from its flower. The fragrance becomes those engaged in a battle. After a rainy day, the flower's back smells stronger. The scent attracts other Pokemon. Behavior of Venusaur The Venusaur's flower catches the sun's rays and converts them to energy, making the flower more vibrant. The flower has a pleasant aroma that attracts Pokemon while also calming emotions. After a wet day, the aroma intensifies. 
Venus has shown the power to influence nature, releasing many vines from its back and leading Bulbasaur and Ivysaur's transformation ceremonies. Although this Pokemon is seldom seen in the wild, it has been observed in grasslands. Strengths and weaknesses: Lucario is a fighting and steel type Pokemon. Due to possessing dual types, it is stronger against a greater number of Pokemon as well, while simultaneously being weaker against as many as well. It is strongest against grass types, as it only takes a quarter of a normal damage from them. In contrast, it takes half the damage. Water, electric, fairy, and fighting types. It's weak against flying, fire, ice, and psychic types, such as takes double normal damage from each of these types. Mega Venusaur. Venusaur Mega evolves into Mega Venusaur. The flower on Mega Venusaur's back becomes larger, and two tiny pink flowers, one on its forehead and one on its back, emerge. The weight of the flower causes its Mega Venusaur's legs and back. To become sturdier to support it. Around the bloom, additional leaves with woody stalks are developed, which are supported by vines. Under the new flower, Mega Venusaur acquires dark markings on its forehead. G Max Venusaur. It becomes larger as a Gigantamax Venusaur, with its flower growing such that it almost covers Venusaur's entire body. The eyes turn in a bright orange color with a light green sclera. Gigantamax Venus gets a few additional green leaves, as well as more petals, while the trunk shortens. The top of the bud becomes longer with three red clouds surrounding it. Gigantamax Venus also bears several pale green marks on its belly, with its petals growing thicker and springier to point where they can deflect weak attacks. The vines of a Gigantamax Venus are strong enough to topple a ten-story structure. Which can make a lethal weapon for attacks. Its flower can spread like a pollen volcanic explosion, such that in breathing this pollen can cause uncontrollable sneezing, and inhaling large amounts can even cause fainting. Shiny Venusaur. Since there are no community days near, on a normal day, the chances to get an existing shiny in Pokemon Go is about one in two hundred thirty to two hundred sixty. Based on past data for Pokemon like Magikarp or Sableye, Bulbasaur is able to carve to be in the wild. If you want to catch Bulbasaur, go to a place where thick forests or parks. In the quest of finding Bulbasaur, you might end up finding a shiny Bulbasaur, which can be evolved into shiny Venusaur. Best move set for Venusaur: Vinewood. It's a damage-dealing grass-type move introduced in Generation One, where Venusaur strikes the target with slender, whip-like vines to inflict damage. Frenzy Plant allows Venusaur to slam the target with roots of enormous tree. This inflicts 150 damage, but then forces the user to recharge during the next turn. Razor Leaf allows Venusaur to launch sharp edge leaves, which slash the opposing Pokemon. Not only it does to deal considerable damage, but also has increased a critical hit ratio and in battles with multiple opponents. Razor Leaf targets all against foes. Lastly, Sludge Bomb is a damage-dealing poison type move, which an unsafe sludge is hurled at a target. This move inflicts damage and has a 30% chance of poisoning the target. A status effect for the user receives damage over time. The Charmander is a fire-type Pokemon introduced in Generation One. Charmander is a bipedal reptilian Pokemon. Most of its body is colored orange, while its underbelly is light yellow and has blue eyes. It has a flame at the end of its tail, which is said to signify its health. Charmander's design is based on the lizard. However, its name suggests it may also have been inspired by salamanders, which in mythology have an affinity for fire. Charmander is notable for being one of the three choices for star Pokemon in the original Game Boy games. Pokemon Red and Blue, Red and Green in Japan, along with Bulbasaur and Squirtle, appearance. Charmander is a lizard-like creature. 
which is almost entirely a bright red orange color, with only its hazel eyes and yellow stomach breaking up its color. Its short point tail has a small flame bursting from the tip. Behavior Charmander is a very emotional Pokemon, with its tail flame charging in sanity depending on what it's feeling. Well, it seems to lean more towards anger and aggression in its emotions. When angry or threatened, the frame gets much larger strengths and weaknesses. Being only a fire type, Charmander has a simple to remember the weaknesses and weaknesses. It's strong against fire, grass, ice, bugs, steel, and fire type when hit by this move. It, it's Charmander takes 50% damage. It's weak against water, ground, and rock type moves. And when hit by these moves, Charmander takes double damage from these moves. Pokedex entries obviously prefers harp phrases. When it rains, steam is said to spout from the tip of its tail. The flame of the tip of its tail makes a sound as it burns you can only hear in quiet places. The flame on its tail shows the strength of its light force. If it is weak, the flame also burns weakly. The flame on its tail indicates Charmander's light force. It is healthy, the flame burns brightly. If it's healthy, the flame on the tip of its tail will burn vigorously even if it gets a bit wet. The flame that burns at the tip of its tail is an indication of its emotions. The flame wavers when Charmander is enjoying itself. If the Pokemon becomes enraged, the flame burns fiercely. From the time it is born, the flame burns at the tip of its tail. Its life will end if the flame were to go out. It is a preference for hot things. When it rains, steam sent to spat at the tip of its tail. The flame that burns at the tip of its tail is an indication of its emotions. The flame wavers when Charmander is happy and blazes when it is enraged. The fire on the tip of its tail is a measure of its life. If healthy, its tail burns intensely. The flame on its tail shows the strength of its light force. If it is weak, the flame also burns weakly. The flame on its tail indicates Charmander's light force. If it is healthy, the flame burns brightly. The fire on top of its tip of the tail is a measure to its life. If it's healthy, its tail burns intensely. The flame on its tail indicates Charmander's life force. If it's healthy, the flame burns brightly. From the time it is born, a flame burns at the tip of its tail. Its life will end if the flame were to go out. The flame that burns at the tip of its tail is an indication of its emotions. The flame wavers when Charmander is joining itself. If the Pokemon becomes enraged, the flame burns fiercely. The, tame, oh, the flame of the tip of its tail makes a sound as it burns. You can only hear in quiet places. It has a preference for hot things. When it rains, steam is set to spout at the tip of its tail. From the time it is born, a flame burns at the tip of its tail. Its life would end if the flame were able to go out. The fire on the tip of its tail is a measure of its life. If the Pokemon is healthy, its tail burns intensely. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe our channel to get more better videos. Charmeleon is a fire type Pokemon introduced in Generation 1. Appearance Charmander is a lizard like creature which is almost entirely a bright red orange color with only its hazel eyes and yellow stomach breaking up its color. Its short point to tail has a small flame bursting from the tip. Behavior Charmander is a very emotional Pokemon with its tail flame changing its intensity depending on what it's feeling. But it seems to lean more towards anger and aggression in its emotions. When it's angry or threatened, the flame gets much larger. Strengths and Weaknesses Being only a fire type, Charmander has simple to remember weaknesses and weaknesses. It's strong against fire, grass, ice, bug, steel, and fairy type. And when hit by these moves, 
Charmander takes 50% damage. It's weak against water, ground, and rock type moves, and when hit by these moves, Charmander takes double damage from these moves. How to catch Charmander in Pokemon Go? Being a fire type, Charmander is found where other fire types appear, while slightly rare, hanging around residential areas and in places where the dry climate will eventually let you see a few Charmanders. Pokedex Entries When it swings its burning tail, it elevates the temperature to unfairly high levels. To fight can excite this Pokemon. When excited, it may blow blue's white flames. It is very hard-headed by nature, so constantly seeks opponents. It calms down only when it wins. It has a barbaric nature. In battle, it whips its fire tail around and slashes away with sharp claws. If, if it becomes agitated during battle, it spouts intense flames, incinerating its surroundings. Charmeleon mercifully destroyed its foes using the sharp claws. If it encounters a strong foe, it turns aggressive. In this excited state, the flame of a tip of its tail flares with a bluish white color. It lashes about with its tail to knock down its foe. It then tears out the fallen opponent with sharp claws. When it swings its burning tail, it elevates the air temperature to unbearably high levels. Without pity, its sharp claws destroy foes. If it encounters a strong enemy, it becomes agitated, and the flame on its tail flares with a bluish white color. In the rocky mountains where Charmeleon live, the fire tails shine at night like stars. It is very hot headed by nature, so it constantly seeks opponents. It calms down only when it wins. It has a barbaric nature. In battle, it whips its fiery tail around and slashes away with sharp claws. In the rocky mountains where Charmeleon live, their fiery tails shine at night like stars. It lashes back with its tail to knock down its foe. It then tears out the fallen opponent with its sharp claws. When it swings its burning tail, it elevates the air temperature to unbearably high levels. Charmeleon mercilessly destroys its foes using its sharp claws. If it encounters a strong foe, it turns aggressive. In this excited state, the flame of the tip of its tail flares with a bluish white color. Tough fights can excite this Pokemon. When excited, it may breathe out bluish white flames. It has a barbaric nature. In battle, it whips its fire tail around and slashes away. If it becomes agitated during battle, it spouts intense flames, incinerating its surroundings. In the Rocky Mountains, where Charmanton live, the fiery tail shed at night as, like stars. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe our channel to get more better videos. With news of the next Pokemon Go Community Classic Spotlighting Charmander, many players have once again become deeply invested in this beloved land of creatures. This, of course, Bring some of attention to Charizard and its two mega evolutions. With both being available in the popular mobile game, many players will want to know how they can assess them. In addition to wanting to know they how can mega evolve the Charizard, many players may be looking to know more about the fire type creature. And if either of the mega forms is more powerful than the other, thankfully, there's a lot more information to go over that can help them into pursuit to become the best Charizard trainer they can be. Charizard is a fire and flying type Pokemon introduced in Generation 1. Charizard is a dragon-like Pokemon, mainly orange in color. It has two large wings, the underside of which are turquoise, like Charmander and Charmeleon. It has a flame and its tail. For a design, the Charizard appears to draw inspiration from dragons of European folklore with its large wings, horn head, and fiery breath. Charizard is notable for being the final evolution stage of one of the original starter Pokemon, along with Venusaur and Blastoise. Although it looks like a dragon, it doesn't have a dragon typing. However, it has two mega evolutions, 
available in Generation 6 games and Pokemon Go. One of them replaces its flying type with Dragon. Charizard also has a Gigantamax form available in Pokemon Sword and Shield, which an exclusive G-Max move, G-Max Wildfire. Pokedex entries, spits fire that is hot enough to melt boulders, known to cause forest fires unintentionally. When it's expelling a blast of super hot fire, the red flame of the tip of its tail burns more intensely. If Charizard becomes furious, the flame of the tip of its tail flares up in the whitest blue color. Breathing intense, hot flames, it can melt almost anything. Its breath inflicts terrible pain on enemies. It uses wings to fly high. The temperature of its fire increases as it gains experience in battle. Charizard flies around the sky in search of powerful opponents. It breathes fire in such a great heat that melts anything. However, it never turns its fiery breath on any opponent weaker than itself. Its wings can carry this Pokemon close to an attitude of 4,600 feet. It blows a fire at every high temperature. Its best fire is hard enough to melt boulders. It may cause forest fires by blowing flames. A Charizard flies in search of strong opponents. It breathes intense flames that can melt any material. However, it will never torch a weaker foe. It is said that Charizard's fire burns harder it experiences harsh battles. If Charizard becomes fierce, the flame of a tip of its tail flares up in a light blue shade. Breathing intense, hot flames, it can melt almost anything. Its breath inflicts terrible pain on enemies. It is said that Charizard's fire burns harder if it has experienced harsh battles. When expelling a blast of super hot fire, the red flame of a tip of its tail burns more intensely. Its wings can carry this Pokemon close to an altitude of 4,600 feet. It blows up fire at every high temperatures. Charizard flies around the sky in search of powerful opponents. It breathes fire in such a great heat that melts anything. However, it never turns its fiery breath on any opponent weaker than itself. When this Pokemon expels a blast of super hot fire, the red flame at the tip of its tail burns more intensely. Squirtle is a war type Pokemon introduced in Generation 1. Squirtle is a bipedal reptilian Pokemon. It has a blue body with purple eyes, a light brown belly, and a tough red brown shell on its back. It has a long tail that curls into a spiral. Squirtle is a small, light blue Pokemon with an appearance similar to a turtle. With its aerodynamic shape and groove surface, Squirtle Shell helps it wade through the water very quickly. It also offers protection in battle like turtles. Squirtle has a shell that covers its body with holes that allow its limbs tail and head to be exposed. Its shell is highly sturdy, so it can hide within the shell to protect itself from physical attacks. It can also balance on its tail. Unlike a squirtle, a turtle, squirtle is ordinary bipedal, taking inspiration from both land dwelling and sea dwelling varieties. The curly tail resembles a crashing wave. Squirtle is usually well behaved, yet it has an underlying rebellious streak. It likes to be open with only a limited number of people and won't advertise its secrets. It prefers to stay within a close knit group, but can still enjoy making new friends. Other Pokemon Ray regard as difficult and hard to get along with, but only if they have previously gone on the bad side. Behavior Squirtle is a very defensive and reactive Pokemon. This is shown both in its Pokedex entries and its anime appearances. The first form of this defensive personalization is the best lead. It's the best shown in its first appearance in the anime for a Squirtle, soon to be as a Squirtle. It's the leader of a Squirtle gang called the Squirtle Squad who all put on a cool and imitating act. 
in a more of an abstract form of defense. Their shell defends them physically, and their axe defends them socially. Strengths and weaknesses. Being only a single type, school of strengths and weaknesses are easy to remember, especially because of the water type is one of the very into matchups. Squirtle is strong against fire, water, ice, and steel type moves, taking half damage when tapped by these moves. Conversely, it's weak to electric and grass type moves, which deal double damage to the poor turtle Pokemon. Squirtle Squad The Squirtle Squad is a group of Squirtles which appear in the Pokemon anime original series episode. Here comes the Squirtle Squad. All other Pokemon in the Squirtle Squad were abandoned by the trainers. And, and because of this, the Squirtle Squad is very defensive and emotionally closed off. They all have an intended tough guy act, which is a common response to abandonment and the score squad shows us how much the anime focuses on the emotional state of the Pokemon if portrayed. After birth, its back swells and hardens into a shell, powerfully sprays fur from its mouth, shoots water at prey while in the water, withdraws into its shell when in danger. The shell is soft when it is born. It soon becomes so resilient Chronic fingers will bounce off it. The shell, which hardens soon as it's born, is resilient. If you poke it, it will bounce back out. When it feels threatened, it draws its legs inside the shell and sprays water from its mouth. Squirtle shell is not really used for protection. The shell is round in shape and the grooves on its surface help minimize resistance in water and enabling this Pokemon to swim at high speeds. When it retracts its long neck into its shell, it squirts out water with vigorous force. After birth, its back swells and hardens its shell. It powerfully sprays foam from its mouth. Its shell is not just for protection, its rounded shape and the grooves on surface minimize resistance in water and allow the squirtle to swim at high speeds. It shelters itself into its shell. Then strikes back with spouts of water at every opportunity. The shell itself when it is bored, it soon becomes so resolute, body fingers will bounce off it. The shell, which hardens soon after it is born, it is resolute. If you poke it, it will bounce back out. It shelters itself in its shell, then strikes back with spouts of water at any opportunity. Shoots water at prey while in the water. Withdraws into a shell when in danger. Squirtle shell is not merely used for protection. The shell is round in shape, and the grooves on the surface help minimize resistance in water, and allowing this Pokemon to swim at high speeds. Shoots water prey while well in the water. Withdraws into a shell when in danger. When it reacts, we tries its long neck to shell. It squirts out water with vigorous force. When it feels threatened, it draws its limbs inside its shell and sprays water from its mouth. It hides in the shell to protect itself, then strikes back with spouts of water at every opportunity. Wartortle is a water type Pokemon introduced in Generation 1. Introduced in Generation 1 with original Pokemon Red, Blue, and Green games, Wartortle is a mono type water Pokemon. It is classified by the Pokedex as the Turtle Pokemon. War Turtle is the middle stage evolution of a water starter representative of Generation 1, Squirtle, and eventually evolved into Blastoise. This guy will show, showcase War Turtle's capabilities in battle, its appearances as the anime, as well as other general facts about War Turtle. Appearance The Pokedex classifies War Turtle as the Turtle Pokemon, and its appearance mimic real-life turtles except the fact that it's a bipedal Pokemon. While most of its body is blue, it shows brown on the outside and yellow on the inside with a white line separating the two colors. War Turtle also has a long wave-shaped tail and two thin-shaped ears. The inside of War Turtle's mouth has two pointed teeth and the ends in War Turtle's hand are three pointed claws. It is relatively short at only three feet and three inches or one meter 
fault. Behavior. Even through acts are called a squirtle, most of the wood turtles' decisions have come from May's war turtle. It was often showcased in a plucky adult sense was, that was willing to prove its worth in battle. War turtle's boisterous attitude was distinct from Ash's squirtle as the later seasons did not typically feature the trainer's Pokemon and the emotional arts. The Pokedex states that some water turtles are said to live over 10,000 years, and their tails are a symbol of its longevity, strengths, and weaknesses. As a mid-stage evolution, war turtle stats leave a bit to be desired. Its bulk is beginning to show as its best stats are its physical and special defense. As a monotype water Pokemon, it has good resources to most types in the game. War Turtle, which takes times 2 damage from grass and electric moves, but is recent to steel, fire, water, and ice type moves. However, in computer play, it is restricted to minor brackets, like NFV, not fully evolved. Pokedex Entries Often hides in water to stalk unwary prey, but swimming fast, it moves its ears to maintain balance. One tap this Pokemon pull and said, the tail stick out a little bit. It is a recognized symbol of longevity. It's, if it shows how drawn it, that world title is very old. It cleverly controls its furry ears and tail to maintain its balance while swimming. Its long, furry tail is a symbol of longevity, making it quite popular among older people. Its tail is large and comes with a rich, thick fur. The tail becomes increasingly deeper in color as World Turtle ages. The scratches on shells are evidence of this Pokemon's toughness as a battler. This Pokemon is very popular as a pet. Its fur covered tail is similar to longevity. It often hides in water to stalk unwary prey. For fast swimming, it uses ears to maintain balance. Its large tail is covered with rich thick fur that deepens the color with age. The scratches on shell are evidence of its Pokemon's toughness in battle. It is said to live 10,000 years. Its furry tail is popular as a symbol of longevity. It is well-established symbol of longevity. If it shows out here on it, that war turtle is very old. It cleverly controls its furry ears and tail to maintain its balance while swimming. It is said to live 10,000 years. Its furry tail is a popular symbol of longevity. When tagged, this Pokemon will pull its head, but its tail will stick out a little bit. It is said to live 10,000 years. Its furry tail is a popular symbol of longevity. Its tail is large and covered with rich, thick fur. The tail becomes increasingly deeper in color as War Turtle ages. The scratches on the shell are evidence of its Pokemon's toughness as a battler. When tapped on this head, this Pokemon will pull it in, but it will stick out a little bit. It is recognized as a symbol of longevity. If its shell has algae on it, that word that was very old, it clever controls its very ears and tail to maintain its balance while swimming. It is said to live 10,000 years. Its furry tail is popular as a symbol of longevity. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to get more better videos. Every starter from the original Pokemon games has some sort of notary all the way through the evolution line. And while the water type final evolution isn't at the same popularity as a Pokemon like Charizard, Blastoise is still a bear. Appearance of Blastoise Blastoise, like its pre-evolutions, is a turtle, but this Pokemon is far more massive than its predecessors. It still has the same blue and cream coloring as the rest of its evolution line, but from its shell, two massive cannons sprout out. Behavior of Blastoise Blastoise is a powerful Pokemon with the sheer strength of its water cannons being harped on in every opportunity. The water it shoots can blast through solid steel, and the recoil is 
so immense that the Pokemon purposely makes itself as heavy as possible, so it doesn't topple over when firing. Strengths and weaknesses. Being a pure water type, Blastoise has some standard strengths and weaknesses. It's strong against steel, fire, water, and ice type moves, taking half damage from them. And like almost all water types, it's weak to grass and electric type moves and takes double damage from them. Blastoise is a water type Pokemon introduced in Generation 1. Blastoise is a large bipedal reptilian Pokemon. It has a blue body with small purple eyes, a light brown belly, and a stubby tail. It has a large brown shell with two powerful water cannons on either side, which can be whipped on. Blastoise's design is heavily influenced by turtles and tortoises. The cannons likely draw inspiration from the concept of a mobile tank or battleship. Blastoise is notable for being the final evolution stage of one of the original star Pokemon, along with Venusaur and Charizard. It has a mega evolution available in Generation 6 games and Pokemon Go. It also has a Gigantamax form available in Pokemon Sword and Shield with an exclusive G-Max move, G-Max Cannonade, Pokedex Entries, a brutal Pokemon with pressurized water jets on a the shell. They're used for high speed tackles. Once it takes aim at its enemy, it blasts out water with even more force than a fire hose. It deliberately makes itself heavy so it can withstand the recoil of water jets. It fires. The rocket cannon on the shell fire jets of water capable of punching holes through thick steel. It firmly plants its feet on the ground before shooting water from the jets on its back. Blastoise has water spouts that protrude from its shell. The water spouts are very accurate. They can shoot bullets of water with enough accuracy to strike empty cans from a distance of over 160 feet. It crushes its foe under its heavy body to cause fainting. In a pinch, it will rift jaw inside its shell. The pressurized water jets on this brutal Pokemon shell are used for high speed tackle. The water spouts that protrude from its shell are highly accurate. The bare bullets of water can preciously nail tin cans from a distance of over 160 feet. The jets of water it spouts from the rocky cannons on shell can punch with thick steel. It definitely makes itself heavy so it can withstand the recoil of the water jets. It fires. The rocket cannons on the shell fire jets of water of capable of punching holes with thick steel. It crushes the foe under its heavy body to cause fainting. In a pinch, it will withdraw inside its shell. The pressurized water jets on this brutal Pokemon shell are used for high speed tackles. Blastoise has water spouts that protrude from its shell. The water spouts are very accurate. They can shoot bullets of water with enough accuracy to strike empty cans from a distance of over 160 feet. Once it takes aim at its enemy, it blasts out water with even more force than a fire hose. It crushes its foe under its heavy body to cause fainting. In a pinch, it will withdraw inside its shell. The rocket cannon on its shell fire jets of water capable of punching holes with fake steel. The jets of water it scraps from the rocket cannon on its shell can punch with fake steel. What is a good moveset for Blastoise? If you have a good computer moveset for Blastoise, post an answer below and upvote best ones. Movesets for any of its pre evolutions can also be shared on the spread. Be sure to include the full set details on post, e.g. items, abilities, and natures, and EVs. Some detail, including the intended game mode for your set, is also 